My name is John D. McHugh. I'm an Irish photojournalist based in London. I've been working in press for about five years. Uh, I'm, I am recovering well. I'm very lucky. The, the doctors um, in Afghanistan told me that um, it's not just a miracle I'm alive, it's a, it's a series of miracles. I was sent to Iraq in late 2005 and I went to Afghanistan twice in 2006, in the spring of 2006, to embed with Canadian troops who were deploying in the south in Kandahar province and to Helmand province where the British troops were deploying. I realised by spending time with them that it was important to be in Afghanistan for a long time to understand the complexities of the story. But the idea was just to really be in the wilds um, where you know, some of the troops almost feel that they've been forgotten. And I specifically didn't want to be around other journalists. I wasn't there for two or three weeks. I was there for nine months. 2007, I desperately wanted to get back to Afghanistan. It's all I wanted to do. So I wanted to start as far away from other journalists as possible and work my way down along the border, start in the northeast and work my way down through Kunar and Nangahar and across to the coast and Paktia, and eventually get down to Kandahar and Helmand. Um, and so by the end of the year, have a, a real picture of what was going on in Afghanistan. I talked and negotiated quite hard with the Americans to get this. It was completely off the, out of the norm. It was just off the map. It was not something that been, had been done at all. And I'm pretty sure they thought that was a little crazy when I asked for it. I'm not interested in sitting down with generals or lieutenant colonels and having them you know, discuss what's happening over a map. I, I don't want that. I want to be on the ground with the troops, what they call in the dirt. Not have an editor, not have a boss, so I could move around if I heard about a particular mission. Or, I mean, even I said to some of the guys, with, I don't need to know about a mission. I don't have an editor. I don't have to explain where I am. I, I don't need to tell anybody where I am. And so by the end of the year, have a, a real picture of what was going on in Afghanistan, as opposed to the short little trips that a lot of people make. So the guys I was with were turned into a QRF, a quick reaction force. And effectively, then I'm committed as well. You're in the middle of the wilds of Afghanistan. You can't put your hand up and say, excuse me, I'd like to get out and wait here until you come back. We were being told that we were going into a fight, probably going into an ambush, and, and I had to go along. So. The Humvee raced to the fight site as quickly as possible. Uh, when they got to the western edge of the fight, or the, the ambush site, US troops, Afghan troops got out of vehicles. Um, there were some wounded and some dead ANA soldiers, Afghan National Army soldiers on the ground. If you can imagine, in the mountains, you've got, the, the road is in a valley and you've got mountains either side, so they're shooting down on you. I thought, looking through the camera, these guys are they're gonna die. I'm gonna photograph them getting killed, and it was, you know, pretty horrible. Sergeant Clark, who's on the right, has just had his forearm bandage. He's the guy who got shot, um, and the other two soldiers are taking cover. In the, behind the rock, there's a whole lot of smoke where you can, the, you know, the bullets are hitting, small arms fire are hitting the rock, and then I got shot. Bullet went in through my lower chest, exited my back. I didn't feel it go in. It's a small little hole the size of a penny where it went in. Where I went out, in a big hole in the size of the, in the palm of your hand. It hurt, it hurt like hell, and I was scared. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, I genuinely thought I was going to die. And so I went down on my knees. I swore quite a bit, I have to say. I mean, I said something very cool and, and, uh, and interesting, like, I've been shot, I've been shot. 10 or 15 minutes before anyone could get to me, because at that stage we thought there was a sniper uh, targeting us. So one of the soldiers was shouting to me, how many times do you hit? You know, can you feel your fingers and toes? Can you wiggle your fingers and toes? Are you bleeding a lot? I couldn't see where I was bleeding because it was on my back and I was lying down. Uh, can you get a dressing on the wound? No, I can't really move very much at all. And a lot of it is just, I think, to try and calm you, to try and keep you conscious. But also, they're making an assessment, so when they can move to you, they don't have to go through it all. They've, they've got as much done as they could. A Humvee, another Humvee was moved up beside us, and, uh, and they got me out of there shortly afterwards into the back of a Humvee. 95% of these pictures are shot on a 5D. I brought a, a 5D and a Mark IIn, but the 5D was, was, you know, it's a beautiful camera, and so I use it for pretty much everything. This is Sergeant Sears uh, giving first aid to an Afghan National Army soldier. Um, you know, he's calling for help, he's shouting at other Afghan soldiers to, tr to try and get involved and to give first aid. And so I think it's, it's quite a dramatic picture. And this is in the middle of the, the fight. This is uh, Sergeant Sears putting down some fire and Kittle is changing uh, the ammunition on the 50 cal and Anderson is on the radio trying to get some gunships overhead. It's, uh, it's absolute chaos at this stage. This is the last photograph I took before being shot. I really like this picture. I think it sums up the, the whole fight in Afghanistan. You've got 
US soldiers, you got you know the, the most powerful nation on earth, and you got three guys who are having to take cover from soldiers who run around in flip flops and are shooting at them with AK 47s. So, this photograph, I think, really sums up the, the whole situation in Afghanistan, and it was just moments after this that, that I got shot myself. And then, this is a this is the last photograph I took in Afghanistan, really. This is um, after they got me back to a base. I've had some treatment. This medic has treated me. I had been given some morphine at this stage, but I was still awake, and I was determined to, to keep shooting pictures. But in fact, I only got to shoot a few of these pictures, and uh, another soldier came to me and, and took the camera away from me and basically told me to, to get some rest, and you know, my day was done. I stopped using a walking stick about a week ago, and you know, I'm sore now. It's going to be sore for a long time, but I can move around. And this is... September, start of September, and in November I'm hoping to go back to Afghanistan.